me and him and had that bloody. Oh, I guess yeah. It was the first oh, and uh, when I asked him, I said, hey, he, said I'm to Thompson, you he says, exit 99. He I said, ain't saying no more. No, he said, exit 100. Oh. Well, he lied to you about the exit number, too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. We, we got into it. So then we come up here, and he pulls in. And I'm sitting there, my dad was still out. And he's up walking around, and I just kind of looked over and said, he just saw that. Good run, Dirty South. You know, after me and him had their run in, you guys were fine. We drove. He'd always make a point to come. Dude, but you know what? After you left there, his whole team was wearing uh, T-shirts that said uh, "Leave my daddy out of it" or something. Yeah. All right, ready, roll. Started the day um, pretty fast, right off the truck. Uh, it was P4 in practice, um, dealing with a little bit of a tight race car. Uh, made a few adjustments, um, track bar stuff, you know, a couple shocks and springs and uh, sway bar. Uh, got it freed up to where he's very comfortable. Finished the second practice, P4. Never really made a chance to, to really do a mock run. Um, so we got a good real race car uh, and race trim. We should be good tomorrow. Hey, we're here at Thompson. Um, great day of practice. We ended up either P4 or P5. Um, ran up on a car on my mock run, hurt us just a little bit, but the car's got a lot of speed in it. And when we did our long run, uh, race run, the car was great. Had an issue with power steering where we uh, the rack was leaking a little bit. Probably would have been okay, but we didn't want to take any chances. We ran out of power steering here uh, in the middle of the summer last year. We didn't want that to happen again. So uh, everything looks good. I think we're fast, I think we're solid, so we're looking forward to a good race tomorrow.
or you think you're going to want to sit back a little bit? Uh, I don't know. What do you want me to do? So are you anxious or are you calm? I'm ready. I guess as soon as they release them, if you want to go get it out of the way, let's just go ahead and do it. I'm thinking about maybe about 70% on the first lap and then 4-3 on. What do you think? Yeah, 10-4. Ray, just make sure you ain't coming up or closing in on no one fast. 10-4. Don't let me get anybody else's way either. 10-4, I won't. Alright, three good one here. Cars off. Are you ready here? Are you ready? Picking it up. There you're going. Oh, seven each side. It's recorded. 
Still there, you'll get him here. Clear inside. Back inside for quarter. Twenty two inside, you're even half back behind. Twenty two still inside, you'll get him here, you're clear, clear by one, going away. No pressure behind you, okay, number them here. Cars one at top of three. Bert, what do you think? It looks like you got a pretty pretty good hot rod. Yeah, the back end, right in the center of the corner. The back end wants to get up the hill a little bit, a little bit free there. I moved down on that flat just a little bit and it helped that. I backed my corner up, made an early turn. The car's got good drive. I just need a little help right in the center as, I'm, as the back end's trying to land. It's wanting to skate up the hill a little bit. All in all, it's pretty good. Alright, 10-4, you did exactly what the 51 did. He moved down in the same groove you are, and it looks like you guys are rolling it a lot better than the 75 and the 2 up top. Uh, you're doing a great job, and we'll take care of you when it's time to see you later. Bert, in the past, the longer this race runs, the worse the top gets, the better the bottom gets. So if you can keep searching around for grip down there, and even make the car work there, you're going to be better on the long run. Oh yeah, you found something on that bottom right there. And like Rock said, man, it's only going to get better and better down there. The 51's already getting down there. There you go. Got one inside, half back behind. 75 inside at the corner, you'll get him here. You're all clear. Clear by going. No pressure behind, clear by two. Caution we get, I need for you to save as much fuel as you possibly can for me. Yeah, boy. yeah I don't need much. I just need a little bit getting in and to the center. It's loose the end of the center. Do so you need to be a little bit freer in? No, I need to be a little tighter. All right, 10 4. All right, fellas, let's nail this thing. Four, three, two, one. There.
up on the right front. The one we made the mock run with, bud. I just wanted to make sure we didn't mess up, Eddie, because I thought we were putting the three stickers on. Oh, we're good, bud. This thing don't have but just a few laps on it. Hey, Bert, just go ahead and do your thing, man. Get four. Right, Ray, you got to work hard to get me clear here. We're on the bottom. And four. Show me what we got here, man. We gave away four spots for you. All right. Bert, if you save me some fuel, we should be good from here on out, man. Just hammer down. I tried. It's hard to save fuel and clean your tires at the same time. I did the best I could. Hey, please start going off here. Are you ready? Are you ready? There you go. Going inside the quarter. Inside and even clear inside. Clear all around. Back behind. We all have to add back to the green side. No pressure behind. They're buying food at the 40. Oh, 
Yeah, it was a good day. Um, early in the run for the first hundred when he was running in the third position, we were just a tip free, a little bit on the loose side, uh, into the, in, getting into the corner and also throttle off. Um, asked me for a little bit of help. Um, when we put the three tires on there, I usually started a little bit bigger, but when he asked me for a little bit of help, I, I went ahead and started like we would the race, and it just locked the car down just way too tight, and, um, and that's what happened there. But all in all, uh, to come home six, we're a little bit disappointed with it, but as tight as the race car was at the end of the day, it, it is still a good day. We had a, uh, a decent day for us. Um, I guess it's a good thing when we're disappointed with a sixth place finish. That's where we ended up. Uh, we were a little bit tight qualifying, so we ended up, uh, I think, P8, qualified P8. We got to third, ran third for the majority of the race, and um, started getting a little bit free, so when we came in and pit, we made a very small adjustment to tighten the car up, and we just got way too tight. So I fell back a little bit. Uh, we had a problem in the pit stop. Some lug nuts popped off, so just a couple little things that didn't go our way, but uh, all in all, ended up sixth. Um, not a scratch on the car, so that's always a plus. Um, enjoyed racing here, that racing with these guys and, and this atmosphere. And uh, like I said, it's not the day that we wanted when we got here, but it's a day that we can uh, that we can accept and, and we'll uh, walk out of here with our heads held high.